Today on MTG Unpacked, it's time for another Commander Snack. So the Commander today is Prime Speaker Zagana. So we'll be digging through the packs here, looking for creatures of the same tribe. So that'll be Merfolk Wizards. We're not looking for anything with special abilities that the Commander takes advantage of, or the Commander's colour identity. Purely looking for the tribe. So let's take a closer look at this one. Okay, so we have Prime Speaker Zagana. Let's boost that lighting a tad. Legendary Creature Merfolk Wizard 1146. Prime Speaker Zagana enters Battlefield with X plus one plus one counters on it, where X is the greatest power among other creatures you control. And when Prime Speaker Zagana enters Battlefield, draw cards equal to its power. Alright, so let's set this aside and introduce the patron. It's actually a new patron. Juno Passanen, thank you for being a patron, gets his signed Jackalope Herd card there. So let's see, we'll do things in this order. And the patrons get the rares, mythics, foils, and anything over but Starting off with Allegiance here. And there should be lots and lots of merfolk in these packs. So fingers crossed, we start off here with Arrestor Zeal. Slime Bind, Savage Smash, Viscopa Vampire, Open the Gates, Thirsting Shade, give that poor chap a drink, Mammoth Spider, Noxious Grudian with Death Touch, Law Mage's Binding, Rakdos Locket, and Uncommons. We have eyes everywhere, people, watch out. Sphinx of the Guild Pact. Flames of the Raised Boar, and the rare. It's a 2-2, Lavinia Azorius Renegade. The drain creature, human soldier, 2-2 two, two for 2. Each opponent can't cast non-creature spells with command mana cost greater than the number of lands that player controls. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, if no mana was spent to cast it, counter that spell. Okay, so your opponent cannot get any freebies. Seems decent. Gruel Guildgate, and a treasure token. Moving on to Core 2020. And I realised when I uh, was about to put this video together, I don't actually have any playmats with merfolk on them. Shame, shame, shame. So I had to settle for something with a bit of blue in it. So see what you think of that. Next up we have Frilled Sea Serpent. Act of Treason. Inspiring Captain. Fathom Fleet Cutthroat. Ferocious Pup. Silverback Shaman. Gorging Vulture. Tectonic Rift, Winged Words, Where Are the Merfolk, I Say, and Mind Rot. If you watch too many videos on this channel, you'll rot your mind, you'll discard two cards, and you just have to keep watching, and that'll clear right up. So I'm going to put this card in for you, sir. Enjoy. Our commons, we have Howling Giant, Unchained Berserker, Ethergust. And I'm not sure, was that over a buck? I'll put it in anyway. And the rare is Agent of Treachery. Creature Human Rogue 2 3 for 7. When it ends Birdfield, gain control of target permanent at the beginning of your end step. If you control three or more permanents you don't own, draw three cards. Okay, and a mountain and soldier token. Now, this next set, we should have Merfolk coming out of our ears. Actually, the next two sets, we have Ixalan and Rivals of Ixalan. So we had merfolk, pirates, dinosaurs. We've got these weird monkey goblins here. Rummaging goblin creature, goblin rogue. All right. Sunrise Seeker and the humans. Fathom Fleet Cutthroat. Ixali's Keeper. Shore Keeper. Jungle Delver. Here we go. Creature merfolk warrior, 1-1 one, one for a single green. So pay three and a green. Put a plus one, plus one counter on Jungle Delver. Raptor Companion, Ancient Brontodon, Pounce, Prying Blade, Favorable Winds, first of the Uncommons, Otapek Huntmaster, Walk the Plank, and the rare is Sunbird's Invocation, Enchantment for 6. Whenever you cast a spell from your hand, reveal the top X cards of your library where X is that spell's converted mana cost. You may cast a card revealed this way with converted mana cost X or list without paying its mana cost. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. 
And a forest and treasure token. I just realized we need to be looking for merfolk wizards. So there should be wizards as well. I'm just going to have a quick look through here. You're probably saying there are no wizards, in which case I apologize for the delay. So vampires, no, okay. So I didn't actually find any there. Okay, next up, Rivals of Ixalan. So we've got one merfolk so far, merfolk warrior. Should be a bunch more in here, I would expect. We have a Legion Conquistador, Sea Legs. Stampeding Horn Crest, so the pirates and the dinosaurs well represented. Recover, love that artwork, very nice. Plummet, Dusk Charger, Luminous Bonds, Colossal Dreadmoor, what did I say about dinosaurs? Dark Inquiry, Uncommons, Forerunner of the Empire, Strength of the Pack, Arterial Flow, and the rare is Siegehorn Ceratops. And the dinosaurs are saying, but what about us? Here they are, Creature Dinosaur 222, with Enrage. Whenever Siegehorn Ceratops is dealt damage, put two plus one plus one counters on it. And by the way, it must survive the damage to get the counters. All right. And a foil Kite Sail Corsair <clears throat> with an island and Vampire Token. Why didn't we get a Merfolk Token? It's a bit of a bust, I think. <clears throat> Next up. Throne of Eldraine. Okay, so these are the opposite way around than usual, these Japanese printed packs. Okay, starting off, we have a Human Rogue, an island, a Foil, Garenbrig Paladin, and the rare is a Claimed Contender. Creature Human Knight 3-3 three, three for 3 when a Claimed Contender and Contender. When a claimed contender enters the battlefield, if you control another knight, look at the top five cards of your library. You may reveal a knight or equipment or legendary artifact card from among them. Put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Okay, so if we were doing knights, I'm sure we'll get tons of those. Uncommons, Flaxen Intruder. Wintermore Commander, what was I saying? Sir Cara the Bold, okay. So every card is a knight apparently in this set. Dwarven Mind, so the commons. Here's another one, Lockthrain Paladin. Are there any Knight Commanders? Leave a note in the comments. I'll have to go hunting for those. Weaselback Red Cat Creature Goblin Knight. Yes, the best kind of knight. Bit of a goblin fan, as you may have guessed. Weapon Rack. Garenbrig Squire. So tiny. Beloved Princess. True Love's Kiss. Opt. And... No merfolk or wizards in there. Oh dear. Okay, and there's not even anything with uh, pictures of merfolk. All right, Theros Beyond Death. Let's see how we do here. Although I think we would settle for a Titan, honestly, if we didn't get any merfolk in here. Or one of the gods. I'm sure Juno would not be displeased by that. Starting off with Deny the Divine, Nyxborn Brute. Sentinel's Eyes, Blight Breath Katobalpa, I think that's how you pronounce that. Loadsome Chimera. Towering Wave Mystic, perfect. This is on brand creature, Merfolk Wizard. That's exactly what we're looking for. 2 1 for 2. Whenever Towering Wave Mystic deals damage, target player puts that many cards from the top of their library into their graveyard. Thassa's favor followed him to the underworld. Even the waves of Nerono obeyed his will. Fantastic. There we go. Daybreak Chimera, Elysian Carrioted, Omen of the Sea, and you know what, I'm going to count this one, Enchantment for two, with Flash, when it enters Battlefield, Scry two, then draw a card, two in the blue, Sack it, you get to Scry two, Flicker of Fate, Our Seed of Life's Bounty, first of the Uncommon's Agonizing Remorse, Glimpse of Freedom, and that looks like water to me, Instant for two, draw a card, escape, two and a blue, exhale five other cards from your graveyard. And the rare, ooh, that's pretty cool, Dream Trawler, Creature Sphinx, three, five, four, six, with Flying Lifelink. Whenever you draw a card, Dream Trawler gets plus one, plus zero until end of turn. Whenever Dream Trawler attacks, draw a card, and if you discard a card, it gains Hexproof until end of turn, tap it. And an Island, I'm going to put that in as well, because that is just cool artwork, and a Human Soldier. 
Okay, so there we go. Juna, thank you for being a patron. We'll tuck this stuff aside. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching and have a great day.